Welcome to the first episode of Master Each Track with brand new Trustmaster T248. Today I would like to show you an onboard and a few tips to tackle the very challenging series of corners on Suzuka. The first turn, the S-curve section and the Dunlop curve. Main reason of how specific the S-curves are is that they are closely connected together, creating a section where the exit of one corner will affect the enter of the next one. Your mind in this section always have to start thinking in advance about the coming turn. There's no time to rest there between the corners, so keep in mind that making mistake in one, like missing the apex or going too wide on the exit, will negatively affect the enter of the next corner. Heading into the first turn with a car going about 260, prepare for a very changing brake there. It's a double apex corner where we have to trial brake smoothly and precisely. Try to brake hard first and then easily release the brake pressure while gently applying the steering input. You can lose the rear if you keep the brake input and steering angle high together. Try to keep relatively high entry speed into the second apex and position your car to the right for the enter of S-curve section. Here it is all about smoothness of throttle control and fluid steering inputs. Try to balance the weight of the car to find the sweet spot between under and over steer. You can sacrifice a bit the exit speed of each curve to have a good enter for the next one. Try to avoid jerky throttle tapping and aggressive steering, which can kill the balance of the car. For this corner on the exit, position yourself to the right as soon as possible because you are exiting the S-curves into the Dunlop curve, where the exit speed is all what matters, so you have to use all the track available for your advantage. Lift off the throttle for about one second without using the brake pedal and stick to the inside curve and go back on the gas as early as you can to maximize the exit. Be wary of the blind section on the uphill, it's easy to go too wide there and end up in the sand. Overall, the general rules that applies on that challenging section are being as smooth as possible in terms of steering and throttle inputs, thinking ahead about the enter of the coming corners and finding an optimal racing line which suits you best on the S-curves. Watch the onboard and try to apply these tips for your next ride at Suzuka. I'm pretty sure you will do well. Thank you for watching, you can visit my social media channels and remember to master each track.